Hello everyone. Welcome to Vishwas 24. This is Vishwas. So in this video, I'll be giving my review on WWE SummerSlam 2023. So before I begin, you guys might be wondering like why I am making a video on uh, WWE. Uh, this is my first video on WWE uh, because I like WWE. I'm a huge fan. Uh, right from my childhood, I've been a huge fan of WWE. So, for the love of WWE, I'm making my review on uh, the whole uh, SummerSlam. I'll be going through every matches. Uh, I'll be giving my take on the match and and all the other stuff related to it. So, this is my first video. Hope you guys like it. Uh, if I make any mistakes, uh, please do accept it. Uh, so with that being said, if you are a new viewer, do consider subscribing. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. So SummerSlam 2023 is officially over. And I'll go with the match card. So the first match was uh, Ricochet versus Logan Paul. Of course, this was a high-flying match. I'm not into uh, Logan Paul. So, anyway, this was an entertaining match and the winner was Logan Paul. The second match was uh, Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar. Uh, hopefully, this is the end of the rivalry between these two. Uh, this was very physical. This was very intense match. And Cody, uh, hats off. Pulled off a great victory against Brock. So winner Cody Rhodes. And the third match, Slim Jim Battle Royal. Nope, I just skipped this match. Uh, because I found no sense for this match to be on the event. And of course the winner is our favorite, LA Knight. And the fourth match, uh, Shayna Baszler vs Ronda Rousey. MMA rules match. Uh, of course, this was very physical. Both are very pros. And Shayna Baszler is the winner. I like the match. And the fifth match, Gunther versus Drew McIntyre for IC title. Both were dominant. Both were physical. Uh, I loved the match. Uh, Drew was excellent. And finally, Gunther won the match and still the IC champion and the sixth match is Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins for the world title and this was an emotional match seven years in the making uh, I felt bad uh, at the end of this match because Seth Rollins won uh, I could feel that you know WWE could have given the belt to Finn Balor but that's what we got. And now coming to the seventh match, that is triple threat match: Asuka versus Charlotte Flair versus Bianca Belair. Of course, I was not into this match. I skipped ahead. And winner and the new women's women's what is it? Title winner is Io Sky. So she cashed in. She won the match so it's it's pretty good that they are going with a new talent so happy with that and last but not least the main event Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso tribal combat for the WWE world title undisputed title so this match uh, of course this was also emotional three years in the making uh, lots of drama and the ending uh, I kind of didn't, I felt a little, you know, didn't make sense at all uh, because, you know, it sounded a little crazy to me. Uh, of course, the winner and still the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Uh, so that was pretty much about uh, SummerSlam. This was just a, a little video on, on the love for WWE SummerSlam. 
uh, overall i can say that uh, this event was a dull summer slam i can say because there was no surprise returns there was no you know face turns kind of thing it was okay it was entertaining so that was pretty much about uh, wwe summer slam if you guys like this video do comment your thoughts about summer slam 2023 if you guys enjoy what i do uh, relating to wwe uh, i will make further videos on the same topic covering all the shows or all smackdown or nxt so do let me know your thoughts on the same so this is vishwas i'll be seeing you guys in my next video thank you for watching